What's going on Warriors? It's your boy Lionheart. I'm back. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Too long, right? But you know, life and that, innit? But let's get the formalities and all that kind of stuff, yeah? Let's get into it. Why we're all here. The Devil May Cry, the five Dante statue from Kutubukia, Bishunjo, if I'm saying that right. Art FX J, like their highest level statue. We've got to get into it. We've got to get into it. No question. I don't know if you can see. But yeah, we got to open, man. We got to crack it open. So I bought this off their Kutubukia. Um, website the euro one yeah but it still came from uh america no japan it came from japan i believe now i'll tell you the reason why i'm saying this yeah because when i um had it delivered they charged me 43 pounds yeah that's probably like $60 to have it delivered, to actually have it, um, so for me to collect it. So I paid 189 euros, which is 186 pounds. Uh, and I paid 20 pounds shipping, tw no, 20 euros shipping, yeah. And I paid 43 pounds to have it delivered to me. So I paid well over 100 and uh, about 100 and let's say 150 i mean i paid more than 150 but let's say 150 pounds and expensive real real expensive but yeah this is the inside of the box is that the right way? Let's see if you can see it. so that's the inside of the box so yeah, but they they skimp on the quality, and for how much I paid for it, they better not skimp on the quality. So yeah, this is us. So just. Got some type of information there. We'll look at that in a minute. So that's the sword. Let's look at the sword first, shall we? Wow. Wow, that is awesome. So take a look at that. You can actually see through it, actually. Yeah, it's real. It's real. You can actually see for it. Oh, the hilt moves. Oh, shoot. Oh, you can take it off. You can take it off. You can take the hilt off. So you can take the... The hilt off right there. And then... Put it back on. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Bloody hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same like in the game, look. That's that. And that. Sweet. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like it. Let's get Dante out. Take a look at Tay. Thank you. Bloody hell. That is amazing, mate. I mean, it's expensive, yeah? But I've always wanted a Dante statue. He was wearing these, like, gloves. Look, these went on his hands like that. 
Not to open that, but whatever. Damn, son. Damn. Beast. Beast. Beast, man. Stop it. Stop it. Look at that. I didn't get near roll. Yeah? And I'll tell you why I didn't get near roll. Because I couldn't afford Dante and near roll. Well, let me rephrase that. I could afford it, but I didn't want to afford it. Shit's too expensive. Shit is way too expensive. That would have cost me over £400. Man, negative. Negative. Look, I got money, but I ain't got money like that. So yeah, you can see the bit on the back where the Dante sword goes on to. Mate, let's put the sword in there. I think it's pretty... That's why you can remove the hilt. Makes sense. You can remove the hilt. Yeah. So that... You can thread... So that you can... Um, go through here. You can thread the sword through. One second, let me, let me put it through. That's, oh, wow, wow. Yes, yes, man, man, stop, stop. Dante, yeah, yeah, man, that's too good. That is too good. If you've got anything you want to say, if you're looking for them um, to get this statue, I'd recommend it. Looks really, it's really, really high quality. Artwork is godlike. 100% would recommend it. Like, there is no shortcuts whatsoever. So much detail, man. Look at this thing. I don't think you can see it, man. It's a lot of detail. A lot of detail. Even in the even in the ja in the jacket, you see like it looks like leather. If you look really carefully, you can see it's got like a leather texture to it. Outstanding. And even the jeans that he's wearing, they put like the leather jean texture on there. Jesus Christ, man, that is unreal. Paint the way they painted it. The way they did the hair texture, the leather jacket, the sword, the details in the sword. Mate, I'm so happy with that. I'm so happy. Okay. That's worth it, man. That's worth it to me. And I've got Comic-Con coming up as well. That is worth the over two hundred pound, two hundred fifty pound. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Dante, I may get Nero a little bit down the line. Well, a, a couple of weeks. I'll check what the stock is like. If they still got it, I might get Nero. But I have to think about it because it is a lot of money. So yeah, that's the unboxing of the Dead May Cry 5 Dante Kutabukiya statue. I love it. I'm very, very happy with it. I've pretty much run out of, um, of space on my stand. So I have got two options. I can either pull it in my front room. Um, pull it in my front room. Build up my glass cabinet. So I've got a glass cabinet, but I'm too lazy to put it up. Or I can I can pull it on my workstation somewhere like here on my next to my Corsair uh, keyboard. We'll look into those options, but right now, man, all good, baby, all good. So this is my Dante Kutabukiya statue. Thanks for watching. I know I've been a little bit slow with the videos and stuff like that, but it's just like you know getting bodied by work and that type of stuff in it and life stuff. So. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best. 
I'm doing my best and I, you know I always appreciate your support and your views and your shares and your likes and your comments and your advice and your input. You know I do, right? So um, yeah, that's it for the unboxing. Man, look at this guy. Look at this guy, Dante. I'm talking about man.